Josh from Espresso Planet. Uh, we've got some new toys in from Bonavita, specifically the Bonavita uh, dripper stand and as well as electronic scale. So the scale is pretty innovative. It's it's your basic scale, but uh, they've also got a drip tray here that fits on to the scale, and it's got a timer built in. So uh, everything kind of all in one for for your barista. I'm gonna do a quick Chemex on it using the Bonavita variable kettle. Um, we've also got the new Bonavita V-Style dripper. It's very heavy and it's very thick. They did a really good job uh, designing it. It's a very nice pour over. Um, and the scale also comes with an attachment so you can fit this guy over top if you're brewing directly into your cup. Uh, we're just gonna make a Chemex with it for this demo. So I'll show you kind of how to use it, the scale. We have the Chemex on top pre-wet uh, and preheated, and also the scale zeroed out. So we're gonna use uh, one liter of water and around 60 grams of coffee. So we're gonna go ahead and add our coffee to the scale. See, we're just a little bit over it, so 60.7 grams, which is fine. We're then going to uh, zero out the scale, because now we wanna measure the water we're putting into it. So we're zeroed out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start pouring. We're going to do a 30 second pre-infusion. And this is where the scale is so handy. I'm going to go ahead and hit the timer button as soon as I start pouring, which is now. And you're aiming to pour around 10% of, of the total water you're going to be using uh, for your pre-infusion. So not a lot, just kind of the least amount of water you can use to, to wet the entire coffee bed. And to allow it to bloom. So you want to let it bloom for around 30 seconds, 30 to 40 seconds. In the meantime, I put the variable kettle back on its base and I hit the hold feature again. And what that's going to do is while this is blooming, we're going to allow the Bonavita to stay within that 200 to a 1 degree uh, range. So around 40 seconds, we're going to continue our pour. And here you're just pouring in a circular motion uh, slowly. You're not pouring along the edges of the coffee. And we'll go ahead and wait. So as the timer's going, it's also weighing the total volume of water, which is awesome. Again, we're aiming for around um, one liter of coffee. And it should take between uh, three and four minutes to actually brew one liter. If it takes a lot longer than that, then you know that the coffee is a little too fine. If it takes a lot less than that, then it's too coarse. There's a thousand grams in a liter, right? Not sure. Not too sure. I think there's a thousand grams in a liter, so that's what we're going to go for. If it's wrong, that's... Uh, my failure at math during high school, but I think it's a thousand, thousand grams per liter. And you want to keep pouring so that the bed never goes, never goes uh, dry. And again, you never want to pour along the sides of the walls or the side of the filter. There's a few reasons for that. One is that the water will go directly through the filter and along the walls. Um, another is that the Chemex is a specific shape. So just like a filter, it, it's in a cone. So if you pour along the walls, you're ruining the shape of the coffee. Uh, or I guess you're ruining the shape of the coffee bed. You want the coffee to be against the walls so you get an even extraction throughout. I know it's tempting to go along the edges, but don't do that. We're almost there, we're about 500 grams. So it makes sense that it's about 1,000 grams. Um, I know that this was exactly one liter, so when this runs out, we know we're at a liter. But it's handy if you're doing larger volumes or bigger, more than a liter or less than a liter, the, the gram, gram throw. So it looks like our grind is a little too fine because it's taking a little bit longer than it should to actually brew a liter of water.
So the filter is a single hole filter. Uh, and again, it's very thick. The first thing that, that or very uh, heavy, the first thing that struck me was how heavy it is when you hold on to it. I like the handle as well. It's just a very well thought out uh, filter holder. Uh, this is the attachment where the filter holder would sit onto and it attaches right onto the scale. So uh, very well thought out, very well designed. We have both of these in stock. We are shipping as of today, so place your order. Uh, the Chemex is going to taste great. You can see how the scale works and the timer is built in. That's about it. If you have any questions about the filter, questions about the scale, questions about Bonavita in general, give us a call. We are the Eastern Distributor, so we can answer any of your questions. And we're always looking forward to uh, getting Bonavita out into the market.